Have you ever pondered the possibility of our sun having a dark mysterious twin? A question that might sound like it's straight from a sci-fi novel, yet it's one that has intrigued scientists and space enthusiasts for decades. A concept that is as mesmerizing as it is perplexing. The concept of a dark star, a twin to our sun. In the vast expanse of our universe, stars often come in pairs, bound together by the invisible tether of gravity. These twin stars or binary stars as they are scientifically known, dance an eternal cosmic ballet, circling each other in a harmonious duet of gravitational pull. But what if our sun, the solitary star at the center of our solar system, was not so solitary after all? What if it had a twin, a dark star lurking in the distant corners of our solar system unseen and unknown? This is where the idea of Nemesis, the sun's hypothetical twin, comes into play. The concept of Nemesis is not a new one. It has been a subject of scientific curiosity and debate for years. The term Nemesis is derived from Greek mythology, where Nemesis was the goddess of retribution. In the context of our solar system Nemesis, if it exists, could be the sun's dark twin, a star lurking in the shadows, its existence only hinted at by the subtle gravitational anomalies it might cause. But why does this matter? Why should we care about a hypothetical dark star, a twin to our sun? If Nemesis does exist, it could hold the key to many unanswered questions about our solar system and beyond. It could give us new insights into the formation of stars, the dynamics of our solar system, and perhaps even the extinction events that have occurred on Earth. So, as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our universe, we find ourselves asking, is there a dark star out there, a twin to our sun? Is there a nemesis lurking in the shadows of our solar system? What if we told you that this isn't just a science fiction concept, but a theory that holds potential truth? Welcome to the world of Nemesis the hypothetical dark star twin of our sun. Let's embark on a cosmic journey to explore the depths of this fascinating concept. Imagine a star lurking in the fringes of our solar system, hidden in the cloak of the Oort cloud. This is Nemesis, a theoretical celestial body proposed to exist in a highly elliptical orbit around the sun. It's thought to be a dwarf star, or perhaps a brown dwarf, which is a star that wasn't quite able to ignite and become a full-fledged star like our sun. Nemesis is believed to be about one and a half times the size of Jupiter, but with only a fraction of the sun's brightness. Its elusive nature and lack of illumination has earned it the moniker, Dark Star. But don't be fooled by the name, it doesn't mean Nemesis emits no light at all. Instead it means that Nemesis is so faint, its light is swallowed up by the vastness of space, making it near impossible to detect with our current technology. And why a twin of the sun, you may ask? Well, the theory suggests that Nemesis and the sun were born from the same interstellar cloud, making them binary or twin stars. But unlike our sun, which sits comfortably in the heart of our solar system, Nemesis is believed to reside far beyond the known boundaries of the solar system in the distant Oort cloud. So why haven't we seen Nemesis if it's supposedly our sun's twin? Well, it's all about its position and the nature of its orbit. Nemesis is hypothesized to orbit the Sun at a distance of about one light year. To put this into perspective, the nearest known star to us, Proxima Centauri, is about four light years away. This immense distance and its faint nature make Nemesis a challenging target for astronomers to spot. But how did this concept come to light, you may wonder? Let's delve into its discovery. The discovery of Nemesis is a journey filled with intrigue and speculation. Imagine a cosmic detective story, if you will where the clues are as vast as the universe itself, and the detectives are a group of dedicated scientists armed with the most sophisticated technology. The discovery of Nemesis, our sun's hypothetical dark twin, is just such a story. The first hints of Nemesis's existence were derived from patterns in the fossil record. Paleontologists, those who study the history of life on Earth through fossils, noticed a peculiar cycle. Every 26 million years, there seemed to be a mass extinction event on Earth. This pattern was too consistent to be mere coincidence. Enter the astrophysicists. Dr. Richard Mueller and Dr. Mark Davis of the University of California, Berkeley, along with Piet Hutt of the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey, took this paleontological puzzle and, in 1984, proposed a celestial solution, Nemesis. They theorized that our sun had a dark companion, a star whose orbit brought it close to the Oort cloud, the icy shell at the edge of our solar system, every 26 million years. The gravitational disruption caused by this dark star, they speculated, sent a shower of comets towards Earth, leading to these mass extinctions. This was of course a theory, a hypothesis. It was based on calculations, on models and simulations. 
But it was compelling. It was bold. It was a testament to the power of scientific inquiry, to the desire to understand the universe and our place within it. The search for Nemesis has been a journey, not just through space but through time. It's a journey that has taken us from the depths of Earth's geologic past to the farthest reaches of our solar system. It's a journey that has involved scientists from multiple disciplines, all working together to solve one of the greatest mysteries of our universe. The discovery of Nemesis however is just one part of the story, the theories surrounding this dark star are even more fascinating. From extinction events to planetary disruptions, the theories surrounding Nemesis are as intriguing as they are diverse. One of the most fascinating theories about Nemesis is its alleged connection to mass extinctions on Earth. According to this hypothesis, Nemesis, on its highly elliptical orbit around the Sun, periodically disturbs the Oort cloud, a region at the farthest reaches of our solar system filled with icy bodies and potential comets. Some scientists theorize that this disturbance sends a shower of comets hurtling towards the inner solar system, potentially leading to catastrophic impacts on Earth. This theory, if proven true, could explain the cyclical nature of mass extinction seen in the fossil record. Another intriguing theory postulates that Nemesis might have a profound influence on the Oort cloud itself. The Oort cloud is believed to be a vast reservoir of long-period comets, and the gravitational pull of Nemesis could potentially alter the trajectories of these comets. This could result in a higher number of comets entering the inner solar system, which would have significant implications for the stability and safety of our planetary neighborhood. The implications of these theories are profound. If Nemesis does exist and exert such influence, it would drastically alter our understanding of the solar system and the universe at large. It would also open up new avenues for research. For instance, studying the potential effects of Nemesis on the Oort cloud could provide new insights into the formation and evolution of comets, as well as their potential impact on the Earth. Moreover, the search for Nemesis itself could push the boundaries of our space exploration capabilities. Finding a dark star in the vast expanse of space is no small feat, and it would necessitate advancements in our observation technology and techniques. The existence of Nemesis, therefore, could be a catalyst for scientific progress, propelling us towards a deeper and more nuanced understanding of our cosmic surroundings. These theories, while still unproven, offer an exciting glimpse into the potential mysteries of our universe. So, what have we learned about Nemesis, this enigmatic dark star twin of our Sun? Well, we've journeyed through the concept of Nemesis, a hypothetical star lurking in the far reaches of our solar system. This star, if it exists, is believed to be a dim red dwarf or perhaps a brown dwarf, lacking the light and heat of our Sun, yet bound to it by the invisible chains of gravity. We've delved into the discovery or rather the proposed existence of Nemesis. Brought to life by scientists in the early 80s the idea of this dark star was born out of a quest to explain periodic mass extinctions on Earth. The hypothesis suggested that Nemesis, in its wide orbit, periodically disturbs comets in the Oort cloud, sending a cascade of these icy bodies into the inner solar system and causing catastrophic events on Earth. We've also explored the theories surrounding Nemesis, from its potential location to its possible effects on our planet. Some scientists speculate that Nemesis could be hidden in the Milky Way's dense disk of stars, making it difficult to detect. Others believe its existence could explain the perceived regularity of mass extinctions on Earth. But what does all this mean? Why does Nemesis, a star that might not even exist, matter? The importance of such hypothetical concepts lies in their ability to push the boundaries of our knowledge. They encourage us to question, to explore, and to learn. They remind us that our understanding of the universe is ever-evolving, that there are mysteries yet to be solved and wonders yet to be discovered. So, even as the search for Nemesis continues, with no definitive proof of its existence yet found, its concept has contributed to our understanding of the cosmos. It has sparked curiosity, spurred research, and challenged our perception of the universe. While the existence of Nemesis remains unproven, its story serves as a reminder of the endless wonders that the universe may still hold.